Welcome to the homestead. This morning we're going to be working on clearing out this fence and some trees. Thanks for joining us on this journey. So here's a before shot of the section we're working on. What we're doing is, you can see the current fence, those fence posts. We're bumping this fence out so it's closer to the road. So we're going to gain like 10 feet here and then over here it's going to go way over close to the mailbox. So we're going to gain like 20 feet there and then it goes all the way down. So we're going to gain 5 to 20 feet all the way down, down, down a long ways. So it'll be a lot of more, a lot of extra pasture there. All right, we're gonna take a little break from working on the fence line here and go have lunch. Esther Pie just called us. Just getting to the porch and I can already smell something good going on in here. Let's see what we have. So what you got for lunch, Esther Pie? Meat and beans, um, lettuce and cookies. Leftover taco salad and cookies. Did you make lunch for us all? Mama helped. But you did the main bite? She did most of it. Cool, thank you, honey. You're welcome. All right, here's the after shot, guys. We got a lot done. Got a lot done, huh, Scooter? Yeah. Joshy, how you feeling? Tired. <laughs> Caleb? Yeah, pretty tired. A little bit tired? Mm -hmm. Nene Bug? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what? Pretty tired. Pretty tired? It was a good day's work, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, cool. You guys did a great job. Josh just pulled evidence out of his pocket of hard work. Look at that pile of rusty staples. That was a lot of work. Yeah, good job. Hi y'all, welcome to Yummy Sunday. <laughs> What's on the menu tonight? We're gonna have deer, and this is a back strap. This is the back strap of a deer. Um, Pre-cooked it, uh, slow cooked it on low heat for a long, for how many hours, son? Um, probably four or five hours. Four or five hours. Something like that. And then what I'm going to do is cut this up or shred it up really small. I'm going to cook rice, um, turkey, bacon, mix them all together with cream cheese. Then I'm going to stuff them into bell peppers and then bake the bell peppers with everything inside of them for a while. Now for my love, since you can't have bell peppers, We'll just have that whole mix without the bell peppers and she can eat it. And it should be really yummy. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Think that sounds good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Mama. Are you trying, Fiddle? Yeah. What you making? A, a land that the people have. Land that people have. That looks like fun. Yeah. Do you like drawing? They, they have a lot of lands. A lot of lands. Yeah, this yeah. is the land, this is the pasture, and this is the land. Okay, and this is are you drying out some paddocks? Yeah. Very cool. And this is the land where the snow is going to be. I think she must take after you. You like drawing too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she saw you drawing from a young age and just loves it. <laughs> are you going to be one that likes to draw too? Uh, <laughs> Forgot to mention, honorable mention to the Brussels sprouts. Yes, Brussels on the side. <laughs> cool. Ha, ha, ha.
while Kip is working on that supper, I wanted to pop in real quick and, and give a couple updates. Good news. Um, for those of you who have been following the Kellogg family, uh, they have their yurt up. And so Sarah is finally getting to do some nesting. Uh, a few people have been asking about them. We're just super excited for them. Wanted those who have been following them to know that they're in their yurt. So good news. I'm also going to go into the add-on here and give a little update on the rocket mass. All right, there we go. It's kind of orange in here. Our lights um, give a orange hue to the everything. So I know it looks a little funny. The gentleman who was working on the masonry rocket mass system was able to figure out a fix to get it going and he was able to get it burning really well with no smoke whatsoever in the room. That's a huge blessing. What he did is he put in a little dampener or bypass, I'm not sure what you call this, but anyway, it allows the airflow to go directly into the pipe here instead of only being able to go into our bench. So we can adjust that to either, for when we're starting it up, we can um, have the smoke and everything go straight up the pipe. Once the fire is going well, then we'll adjust that and it'll go into our bench here. So it's not going right now, but it is working and we're really thankful for that. Hopefully we're not going to have frozen water pipes this winter for the first time. We are going to have to probably eventually replace the top on this because it did, um, once we got it heated up really well, it did warp and thankfully the seal around the edge still seems to be good, but we're thinking about replacing that eventually with a piece of glass. Um, just salvaged from a stove top somewhere so and it still is a little messy in here but um, a little bit more flooring was put in there's a bunch of extra so we think we have enough with this here and with all that's still left we might have enough to do the inside of our cabin area as well and then back over here where the bedroom's going to be um, we were given some tile that looks like wood so we're going to put that here we're guessing the mudroom is probably going to get a bit of moisture with people coming in with wet boots and things, so we didn't want to put the cork flooring down in that area. Let me see if I can show you that. It um, kind of just looks like wood. So they don't match <laughs> at all. But hey, when you're given something that's really nice for free, um, if it doesn't match, you just work with it. So we're going to try and find a transition piece that will kind of tie the two floors together. And the only place that they'll come against each other is... Um, just in a little walkway uh, between the living area and the mudroom. All right, head back in where it's warm. We haven't yet um, taken down the wall between our cabin and the addition because um, we still have a little bit more work we want to get done in there before we open the whole thing up. So once we do that, we'll keep the fire going in there a little more regularly so that that room will be a bit warmer. But for now, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> Works well for storing food. Oh. That reminds me, some people have been asking about the root cellar. So I'll quickly show you that as well. We have not been storing any food in there, uh, just simply because we don't have any shelving yet. And we decided we want to kind of test it out this winter and um, check temperatures, check humidity levels, uh, make sure that we have a good feel for how it's going to work before we fill it up with food. So here it is, just waiting to be filled up. It still gets damp in here when it, we have the heavy rains, but um, thankfully it's not pooling. It just kind of gets a little damp. We are storing some grain for a friend in here, and then we have just some uh, grain that we can feed to the chickens as a backup if we need it, but that's all that's really in here right now. So hopefully next fall and winter, uh, if all goes well and it's working well, we'll fill that up with with food. But for this winter, we're just using our added pantry that we put into the addition, and that's working really well. It's a lot of space. Ah, so warm in here, it feels so good. Um, I did wanna say one last thing. Thank you so much for all the great comments on that last video that we did. That was a huge blessing, and it sounded like a lot of people were excited about a video on sleep, so I'm hoping to work on that for um, in the not too distant future. So thank you for all the great encouragement. You guys are awesome. How's it coming? Coming great. Got boats and then barrels. Boats and, boats and barrels. Boats and barrels. Sounds like baby <laughs> needs me. Okay. Quick, quick nursing and now you're happy again, huh? You happy?
All right, so my love, beautiful one behind the camera, <laughs> and myself just took a pinch of this and it is tasty. Yeah, that's the venison and the turkey bacon all mixed together, so good. And then you're gonna mix in the rice. Next comes rice. Okay, I'm stuffing these in here so hard because obviously the, all the meat is cooked, the rice is cooked. All we're doing by baking this is changing the flavor of the bell pepper. The bell pepper, once you cook it, will get sweeter, more tasty. <laughs> we're just gonna top them all with cream cheese now. Mmm, yum. All right, let's check it. Oh yeah, it's ready. Mm. Mm. Yum. Mm. Thank you, love, for all your hard work making this. Oh yeah, thanks for your help too. You're welcome. And Esther's help. And Esther Pie helped too. Thank you. <laughs> Go, J-Bud. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, honey. You got a taste of it? Someone's been playing with Legos. Our table is covered with <laughs> Lego creations. <laughs> you like it? I don't like it, but I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, love? Oh yeah, good. turned out good. Just what you expected? No, Bet. but still very good. Is it better or worse than you expected? Maybe a little better. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Josh? Well, All right, my love, so what do you say? Thumbs up as well. <laughs> it's really good. Thanks, she love. You just mixed it all together. Yeah, I just mixed everything in the bowl. Super good. Nice. Good. Thanks for joining us today. We pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Mm -hmm.